Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. We see all kinds of things on the ATP Tour. Brilliant playing, unrivaled dedication, and some colossal meltdowns. It's all part of the magic and the madness on the ATP Tour. Rafa Nadal's inspired comeback in Australia to capture his 21st major championship and 18-year-old Carlos Alcaraz's electric run to the Miami Open title are massive highlights for our sport. But on the dark side, we see Alexander Zverev kicked out of Acapulco after repeatedly smashing his racket on the umpire chair. And both Nick Kyrgios and Jensen Brooksby nearly hit ball kids, hurling their rackets in rage at Indian Wells in Miami. Finally, the ATP says it's going to crack down on bad behavior, that officials will review player arguments and racket smashes on court and may impose stricter sanctions. Some players, including Miami finalist Casper Ruud, applaud the ATP's position. Casper told Eurosport the tour has to stop this reckless behavior. Ruud's remarks echo what Rafa Nadal has said, also what Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray said after Zverev's Acapulco eruption. Murray called it dangerous and reckless. Hall of Famers ranging from Mats Wielander to Lindsay Davenport had said behavior that puts others on the court in danger, like ball kids and chair umpires, just cannot be tolerated. If you were watching, ball kids in Indian Wells and Miami dodged rackets thrown by Nick Kyrgios and Jensen Brooksby in different matches. Nick accrued tens of thousands of dollars in fines for his outburst in Indian Wells in Miami, where he dropped F-bombs, feuding with chair umpire Carlos Bernardes. Bernardes hit Kyrgios with a point penalty and later a game penalty for his bad behavior. But all players aren't in agreement with the ATP. Alexander Bublik blasted the ATP, saying it's trying to put players in cages by clamping down on personalities. Bublik supported Kyrgios, calling him a great attraction for tennis, asking the tennis channel how many other players can sell out stadiums for doubles. The 36th ranked Bublik says that players are entertainers and the ATP should just leave them alone. In fact, he thinks the plan will actually backfire and possibly diminish popularity among the younger fans. Hall of Famer Boris Becker agrees, saying the Pro Tour needs renegades, not robots, to grow the game. He says emotions are good. A bit of blood, sweat, and tears is good for business. Becker points to a history of bad boy champions who brought buzz, controversy, and packed crowds to tennis. Players like Pancho Gonzalez, Jimmy Connors, Ilya Nastasi, think about John McEnroe, Marcelo Rios, Marat Safin. Becker says if the ATP strips away the entertainment and personalities, the sport won't grow. Becker also says social media doesn't help. Back in the day, a player could lose his cool and it would be forgotten. But now, with social media, these incidents go viral. They get replayed over and over again. He says he's glad in his day they were allowed to play and ultimately go berserk without the same level of scrutiny. Today, though, is different. On the other side, critics disagree. They say incidents like Zverev's in Acapulco go way beyond bad behavior. It's potential assault that would not be tolerated in any club or public park setting. Rafa Nadal has condemned the bad behavior, saying pros have to set positive examples for the millions of kids who look up to them. Tennis Now recently asked John McEnroe how he would operate in today's tennis with electronic line calling and no linesman. Who would he argue with? As we know, Mac often used those arguments to fire himself up or disrupt his opponents. Johnny Mac told us he'd think of something. Time for you to weigh in on this one. Is the ATP right to regulate bad behavior? Or do you see it like Bublik and Becker? The meltdowns are good for tennis. Keep the madness. Join the conversation in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time.